Hello everyone, welcome to my new video. Today let's talk about the Ricoh Theta Z1. Once again, and today I have some great results to share with you because I just found a solution that you can use your Ricoh Theta Stitcher as a standalone, let's repeat, a standalone software to help you stitch the files with the Ricoh Theta Z1 camera. My name is Yu Xingguo, I love 360 photography a lot. And on my channel you can learn a lot about 360 photography and master your OneShot 360 camera, actually this video is the Ricoh Theta Z1 and better than anyone else. You know what, after my previous video about the Ricoh Theta Z1 and the latest 2.20 Ricoh Theta Stitcher, many of my subscribers, my friends on Facebook they have leave comments complain about some pain points such as why not the developers make Ricoh Theta Stitcher as a standalone software to work standalone despite the Adobe Photoshop Lightroom. Here I'm going to show you on my MacBook Pro and I will also show you a step-by-step -step tutorial on a Windows platform. Here you're going to see on a Mac uh, in this folder, this is my username, uh, go to the library here and uh, found the application support and go through, find the Ricoh Theta Stitcher. This is where the operating system try to make configuration about, about the Ricoh Theta Stitcher. Here you're going to see there's a Ricoh Theta Stitcher.plist file as well as a preset. You can see that, a Ricoh Theta Stitcher plist. This document was written in XML format. Here you're going to see we're going to focus on the Ricoh Theta Stitcher.plist and right open with uh, some of the text editor. Find, try and find that. The text edit and let's zoom out and see what's inside this document. Here is a, a very classic XML format. Uh, what you're gonna focus is this sentences. Whether it will configure the Ricoh Theta Stitcher is enable launch without Lightroom. So by default, it was set to false. The Ricoh Theta developer will not allow you to open the Ricoh Theta Stitcher as a standalone software outside Lightroom. But once we have changed the false to true and overwrite the previous file, we're gonna make the Ricoh Theta Stitcher as a standalone software. If you take a closer look at the following sentences, it's great. What is great? It is great lines, the great overlay on the Ricoh Theta Stitcher. Set this to true so that every time you open the Ricoh Theta Stitcher, the grid line will be displayed by default. You don't have to turn on the grid lines. I know for some of the fashion photographers, they always have the grid lines always on. Okay, here back in my folder, let's have several shots taken with the Z1. As you can see, I have four tip files I have export with Adobe Camera Raw, or you can use some other software that can do post process on a single raw DNA file. I'm gonna multi select and drag and drop to this icon of the Rico Theta Stitcher and watch out. And boom, right? This they all have appeared in this shot, and you can also have zoom out as a maximum view so you don't have to look at that it is just amazing right you can see that by default the grid line the overlay has been turned on in the preset we know in the previous video i have set some normal to put myself in the center of that if the recall see the feature is working as a standalone software you can zoom out to full screen that is insane right i know that it's gonna give you a much higher resolution, much higher position. We want to change the horizontal line to align to the grid. I'm gonna select the batch process, and after a short while, it will post process all these files and generate an equirectangular format in TIFF file. Here, I quickly got this down, and yeah, and we will apply the same preset to all of the batch and export one by one. So let's rethink about the workflow behind the Ricoh Theta Z1. Uh, this is a prosumer level, or to say it is a professional one shot 360 camera that was designed to be a super high imaging quality and super simple to use. And for the most of the professional photographers, the Adobe system, the Adobe workflow is by far the best or the, the most user-friendly workflow of all of its kind. It is quite reasonable for the Ricoh Theta developer to make the Stitcher as a plugin to integrate into that great Adobe workflow. There are more and more people that won't have a standalone Stitcher app for the Ricoh Theta Z1 because the Stitcher is free of charge and the teaching quality with a dynamic stitch algorithm is very high. On the market, there are many 
great the raw developing software like the raw therapy, the DxO Photo Lab, uh, the Luminar, and the many more the official raw developer come with the camera body such as Nikon, the Sony, the Canon. The Adobe workflow is a universal workflow. It will work on every one of the camera. But for some of the professional photographers, the native raw developer kind of like to give a much better color, much better imaging quality compared with the universal Adobe system. I understand that some of the photographers still won't have a standalone feature. This video, I think you're gonna find your answer. By watching this video, you're gonna have one more extra feature about the Ricoh CS feature is to make the grid overlay always on every time it turns on. By working as a standalone software, the Ricoh CS feature will still maintain all the gritty features as a batch process, process and next and all of the presets. This will make the Ricoh C to D1 a much more powerful. It will unleash all the potentials from different kind of workflows. So with the different raw developers, with different work style, different workflow, more of the amazing photographers will come into the 360 community and create their own stunning images. More about the Ricoh Cita and its workflow feature, you can refer to my other videos on my channel. I will put all of the videos in my video description. Last but not least, I want to express my thanks to the great photographer from Japan, Toyo Fujita. Toyo Fujita told me this method to make the Ricoh Cita feature work as a standalone software on both Windows and Mac. And I think I have to make a video to show you that trick to benefit all of my subscribers and the 360 community. And in the future, I'm gonna constantly making such tricky style video to help you grow in the 360 world and help to push the industry another step forward. So until next time, bye.